At the start of 2022, I landed myself a job in digital marketing without a digital marketing degree or even any formal digital marketing experience. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how I did it and how you can do the same. If you're looking for an interesting career with a high earning potential, a job in digital marketing might just be perfect for you. It's a valuable in-demand skill in 2023 and the need for skilled digital marketers is only gonna increase in the coming years. More online businesses open every year, so it's clear that the future is digital. The job I landed was a digital marketing assistant role for a software company that creates tools for filmmakers and content creators. My main role is to create engaging copy for the website, social posts, and any other platforms that need captivating copy. I'm also tasked with producing content for the social channels. So I'm very much working on the creative side of digital marketing. I've been working at the company for almost four months now. And in that time, I've had the opportunity to talk to the managers who hired me and ask them exactly why they chose me and why I beat the other applicants. I'll be sharing the feedback I got from the managers as it gives a great insight into what they were looking for. But I'll also be sharing some of the things I did to help increase my chances of getting the job. So just to give you a little bit of context on my background and situation, I'm 30 years old and I live in Wellington, which is the capital city of New Zealand or Aotearoa for my Māori friends. I've never had a job in digital marketing before and I didn't really have any digital marketing experience either. Before I landed the job, I had mostly worked in the hospitality and photography industries. And right before I got the job, I was working as a barista at a local cafe. So how did I manage to get a job in digital marketing without any experience? When I decided I wanted to pursue a career in digital marketing in June 2022, I had no experience. And looking back on that time, I had such a basic understanding of what digital marketing was. So the first place to start was learning the skill. I knew I wanted to learn this skill as quickly and inexpensively as possible. So going down the college or university route was out of the question. Fortunately, nowadays you can learn so much online and that's exactly what I did. After a little bit of research, I discovered the Google Digital Marketing and E-Commerce Professional Certificate on Coursera and decided to take the course. This course helped me so much and before I knew it, I had a really great base of knowledge which gave me the confidence to start applying to jobs. By the way, if you wanna learn more about the Google Digital Marketing course, I made a video about it, which you can find up here. To give you that extra edge, you can create a portfolio piece that showcases your abilities. For me, taking a path towards getting into the world of digital marketing was no mistake. I had actually spent the last few years working on a personal blog in which I was using SEO techniques to build an online audience and get the articles I was writing in front of people's eyes. Because I had already created a website that I was marketing to people, this served as my portfolio when applying for jobs. By the way, all the years that I was writing my blog, I had no idea that the skills I was learning and using had anything to do with digital marketing, which just goes to show how in the dark I was about everything. So you should definitely think about starting your own project, which will not only serve as your portfolio, but it will help you to start developing your skills as a digital marketer. Building a website is a great place to start as you can start developing and showcasing a whole number of digital skills, including SEO, web design, and even writing skills. The job I landed requires a lot of copywriting. So in my case, my website was able to showcase my writing abilities. But if you're not interested in that, there are a whole lot of other projects you could start. For instance, you could start a YouTube channel or social accounts on other platforms like Instagram or TikTok. Or if you're already offering your services to businesses, you could create a website that showcases the work that you're producing for those companies. I also offered my new digital marketing skills and knowledge to local businesses for free to help fast track my experience. I found a number of local businesses that I could help with their marketing efforts. 
I emailed each of these businesses introducing myself and offering my digital marketing services for free in exchange for the experience I'd gain. Everyone I contacted replied to me and one business actually was keen for my help with their social media channels. I managed to get this opportunity about one month before I landed my digital marketing job, so this was short-lived but it's definitely a great way to get some experience under your belt when you can't get a job yet. Now let's explore what I learned from the feedback from the hiring managers. I asked the people who hired me exactly why they hired me and why they chose me over other candidates. So let's get into it. Point one, they said I came across as really passionate and excited about digital marketing and I brought that passion and excitement to the interview. Even though I didn't have any digital marketing experience, I was and still am really passionate about it. And because that passion and drive was real, it showed in person. So the takeaway here is that they weren't just looking for someone to do a job, they were looking for someone who was committed to this as a career. Point two, they really liked my energy and personality and thought I could fit really well into the team dynamic. The company I joined is really small, so finding an applicant that could mesh well with everyone was of high importance to them. Admittedly, this isn't as applicable if you're joining a larger company, but I think the message here is that being likeable can be a superpower. If your presence can make others feel good, then you're going to increase your chances of success. Point three. Even though I didn't have any digital marketing experience, they loved that I had experience with photography. The company I joined operates in the filmmaking industry, so my years working as a photographer were definitely a plus. There's some crossover between the two disciplines, which they thought would make learning and understanding their products much easier for me than for other applicants. The takeaway here is that even if you don't have digital marketing experience, any experience from previous industries you've worked in can still be really valuable. Point four, what sealed the deal is that I emailed after the interview to show my interest. Now, I thought this was a no-brainer, but according to the hiring manager, very few people actually emailed after the interview, which personally I think is crazy. The day after my first interview, I emailed the team members who I'd had my interview with to let them know how much I enjoyed meeting them. I also asked if it would be possible to get a copy of their software so that I could try it out for myself, which they were happy to do. This just goes to show that a simple email can make a huge difference, so definitely always follow up your interview with a quick email. Now, here are two quick tips to keep in mind when applying for jobs that help massively. First, apply to everything and anything. When you're applying for a new role, it can be super easy to discount yourself from opportunities after reading the job description. A lot of jobs will list the criteria that they're looking for in a person, and if you don't meet them all, you might think there's not much point applying in the first place. My advice is apply anyway. Apply to any digital marketing job that interests you, as you never know what might happen. There's really no downside. The worst that will happen is they won't respond to your application, which is going to happen in some cases anyway. And second, believe in yourself and don't let the rejections get the better of you. I'm not going to lie, it can be really tough getting a job in digital marketing when you haven't got much experience, but it really is possible. If I did it, you can do it too but it's gonna take some time, so being patient and persistent is vital. It took me roughly six to seven months from when I first decided I wanted to get into digital marketing to actually landing myself a job. You're gonna have a lot of rejections along the way, which can be discouraging, but if this is something that you really wanna do, you will make it happen. You just have to be relentless, consistently work towards your goal, and have the belief that you will make it happen. The only way that you won't achieve your goal is if you give up, so don't give up. So that's how I got a job in digital marketing with no previous experience. I hope you can find some value in it to help fast track your way towards your new career. I'm sure there are other paths and routes to landing your first role, but this is how I personally did it and what made the most sense for my situation. If you're just starting your digital marketing journey and you need an easy and affordable way to learn this crazy valuable skill, you should check out this video next. 
Cheers. Thank you.